Welcome back, everyone. The next part of Grand Theft Auto 4. So, we just finished base Grand Theft Auto 4, and now we are going to go through this DLC. As you can tell, things look a lot smoother. And this is... Grand Theft Auto 4, The Lost and Damned. So, as you can see, it centers around... Well, this is going to be our main character, Johnny Klebitz. And the rest of these guys are just a-holes. Never mind them. No, I'm kidding. Uh, these are... These are, uh... Our buddies. The treasurer. Now, you're going to have to help me out, because I don't know what the hell any of the biker gang stuff means. I... Hey! Nico! Riding a motorcycle without a helmet. That Brian Jeremy. I always think of Ron Jeremy with him. Terry Thorpe. Oh, it's one of the prostitutes. So... Despite that we're playing as, dif as a different character, obviously, and we're going to have our own separate story, get ready because there's going to be a lot of tie-ins to base GTA 4, the base game. You do understand what probation means? Uh, yes, sir. It means that if you continue down that same path, you'll be locked up and calling some cellmate daddy within a month. Yes, sir. If I had it my way, we wouldn't waste our time. You'd be inside already. Mr. Gray has made great progress. His share on willfulness was one of the most powerful things I've ever heard. I, I believe in this man. Let's hope you don't live to regret that faith. God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> in this case, it seems God is downright Perverse, but I'll leave the salvation to you gentlemen. You stay out of trouble. Yes, Daddy. Excuse me? Yes, sir. Remember, it's a disease. I know, Chad, I know. It's a disease. Meetings every day. Call you if I feel the need to use. Pray. I pray. In fact, I'm praying right now. You're very willful. Was very willful, Chad. Was very willful. I've changed. And you know what, Chad? You changed me. Gentlemen, shall we get the fuck out of here? Hey, stay in touch. Yo. Here you go. It's about time. Ew! Don't take off your clothes! Home sweet home. <laughs> and we made the final prick. Billy Gray, the president of the chapter. Now, I don't really know anything about biker gangs. A, a little, I guess. But not enough. <laughs> Oh, jeez. You know what? You think we're going to be playing music like that on here? That's going to get me copyright strike so fat striked. Copyright stricken. Struck. Rehab. There's definitely an undeniable twinge of 
homosexuality in this fine country's correctional system. No wonder you keep getting caught there, Billy. You can't stay away from it. <laughs> now, let's be clear. I keep getting caught because assholes like you ain't watching out for me. Don't question me. Sometimes you gotta look out for yourself, Billy. Okay, I'll save my questions until I see the chapter. And you better have looked after my baby. So... You got it back for me, friend, brother. One word. Business. Like I told you when you were in there. Or were you so busy playing holier than thou, you started believing your own bullshit? Forgive me. You know, I've had a complicated few weeks. Oh, you match up. Shut up. You know, coming off heroin's kind of hard. I think I acquired this touch of amnesia. What business is more important, Mr. 1980s yuppie big shot, than your best friend's bike when he's close to getting a 15-year stretch? The business that pays his lawyer's fees. The business that puts food on all of our tables. The business that we are all in while you're out pretending to be saved. Get my bike! What am I, your fucking dog? I told you you're not. You told me? You told me you don't tell me shit, you little fuck! Listen, Billy. They were pissed, and they had a reason. Your bike chopped that girl's leg. You put Joe John's nephew in a coma. The deadbeats kept the bike, but we needed the money. You needed some balls. Uh, some fucking heart. Something. I can't believe I'm hearing this shit. And I can't believe I'm hearing this. After everything we did for you, paid your rehab, paid your lawyer's fees, paid your rent, Paid everything. Shit, we set stuff up for you. We do well, man, but it's time to be smart. You're right, you're right. No, you're right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run right out and buy a condo, get a mortgage, 401k, then fold that over into an IRA and a CD. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Be smart? You be smart, you fucking chump. You're ridiculous. Have you got a health care plan? Come on, Johnny, let's just get his bike. Come on. Well, on your head be it. It always is. It's called leadership. Shit meaning something. Yeah, and your shit means a lot, man. Come on. Johnny. Yeah? Wait, come here. Listen, man. Open up right now. You saw that shit I had to go through, right? It was really frustrating. Fucked up shit. Craziness, right? Okay, so I'm a little pissed off, and I've been a bit of a prick lately. Come on, man. You and Angus built that bike for me? That's got to stand for something. Yeah, you're right, brother. I'm going to go get it. And you know what? Peace and prosperity be damned. Peace and prosperity be damned, my brother. You are my brother, Johnny. Always. Let's go! So right away, I feel like this guy already establishes oh, himself as I'm being an untrustworthy guiding hand of your president on this noble quest. Yeah. Go jump, Johnny boy. I'm riding bitch. Yeah, let's go. Oh, no. Guess we gotta make a call on pretty boy. He's over in Bohan on Guantanamo. So you know, I mean they're gonna have dialogue, but man, Billy, they got the perfect actor to do the voice, the model the face. I can see 
save the emotions for later. You know what, Johnny? You can do with some of the trust exercises they got in there. I'm gonna blindfold you when we get back. All you gotta do is fall over and trust that your brothers are gonna catch you. <laughs> can you do that? You boys be too drunk to catch VD, let alone 230 pounds of rapidly approaching middle age. Technically, you are 230 pounds of Jewish biker, John Boy. Your faith has gotta come first. Religion, Billy. Religion. I gave up with faith. Johnny the Jew, Clements the he. Good to be here, man. Good to fucking be here. What's your problem? Nothing, man. I'm the leader of the chapter again, Johnny. And you're just another brother. Can you handle it? As long as you run the chapter right, we can all handle it. I'll run it the way it needs to be run. Same as the three guys before me did. Same as I'm doing now. Really? Feels kind of different. Before, all we cared about was having fun. Brothers, getting shit-faced. Screw you, you get in our way, you're gonna get your teeth kicked in. Thank you, more Jerry. And now what's it feel like to you, Jonathan? Feels like knocking heads is a full-time job. Maybe if we stopped doing it for a minute, we'd look around and realize the fun in it a long time ago. Yeah? Well, I signed up to be a brother for life, you ungrateful fuck. If you're in the law for the good times only, fair weather weekends in the careways, then you ain't in the law. You get me? Chill out, man. I just hope when we decide to take a break, to slow down, it's still an option on the table. So yeah, as I was saying, they got the perfect guy to play Billy. That's not to say the others aren't perfect, but Billy, his role and the, the guy who does his voice, I assume they also modeled, you know, the guy at, after the uh, voice actor's face. Um, he, he really pulls off that, like, untrustworthy dick vibe well. And that's no insult to the actor, of course. I'm just saying he's really he's really good at that. I always thought Billy just had that he 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 gives you a bad feeling right away. Just from how he talks, you know? And how he looks and just a mix of things. Hey! Where's the bike? Oh, it's good to see you too, tough guys. Uh, what bike are you talking about exactly? You know what we're talking about? Billy's bike. Billy's bike? <laughs> Jesus, man. It's been a long time. I thought he was dead. What's he wanted for? To sell for crack, right? Hey? Shut up. Listen, you know how it is. Things passed hands. Parts been changed up. Hard to say if that chopper's even around him. So, boys. You will be, my friend. You will be. Hey! Good to see you, Bill. Man, I, I thought you was dead. Jim, start up the bike. Whoa! Hold on! No, no. Wait! Please, please! No, 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 no! No! Where is my ah, bike? Ah, no, Speak, you on. ugly uh, fuck! Okay, listen. Uh, the angels of death took it to that place in North What the fucking angels of death? Uh, uh, thank you. Yes. Time for ass scratching. Come on, let's get this over with. Yeah. Was that necessary, Billy? Billy's just got, you know. You didn't have to do that. We told you who had the bike. You really got south, haven't you, Johnny? You know? You can do with a stretch in the joint. Might harden you up. Whatever. What about an eye for an eye and all that shit? You should have been the one making that guy pay for holding out. Enough of that shit. We got more things to worry about than respect and stupid kid stuff. We gotta keep business afloat or we're fucked. You just don't get it, do you? This is what it's about. This. Not that money shit. We're in it to stick it to all those yuppies and hippies and motherfucking dead Give me a stiff drink, some hard drugs, the raw of my chopper, that's all I need. Maybe an occasional bit of a hole. Wouldn't be a man if I didn't need that, now would I? How's Ashley, by the way? She's single? What about your brothers, man? Ain't you in it for the lost? Everything I do is about the lost. I don't exist without my brother, without you. If you don't get that, then you don't get nothing, John Boy. Is that state of affairs? Yeah, well, it's some tough love you're showing them. So, 
Oh, uh, what else is like? Oh, yeah. Th I mean, the thing is, I'm doing it in quote unquote chronological order. The thing is, these all overlap with the main game, so they take place at the same time. But you know, this starts at like a very. This starts at a certain mission in GTA 4. Like you're gonna. Like, you're gonna see kind of where it starts. So it starts sort of towards the beginning of GTA 4. Oh, uh, here we go. All I have is this shitty double barrel shotgun. This is what I'm taking into combat. This is just... I really would much rather have a pistol. Pistol, yes. Good. I can have a gun that, that I can actually feel good about in the fight. It was right there. You seen me shoot it and then you were like, you're gonna pay for that, John boy. Ah, uh, shut up, Billy. my bike. Oh, it's over here. I don't think I took any damage from that. I need to find the first place to get armor. Oh, and I think you also gained health Welcome from home, Bill. We're right behind you. Yeah, I think it's going to explain this here. So, yeah. You're going to see where exactly in GTA 4, in base GTA 4, this starts once we go on another mission. Oh yeah, you can generate armor from that? That's weird. That's Huh. So I can just get free body armor from this shit? Hey, hey, come back. I need body armor with the, get the Batman symbol back. Hell yeah. You're not free either. You gotta follow this jackass. And I do mean jackass. Yeah, you know who they're talking about? Faustin and his daughter. Hey Billy, how's it feel to be on the old bike, man? Like when your wife is screwing a neighbor. Gonna be up all night turning her back to normal. You're gonna be up all night fucking and getting high. If I can wait till morning. Okay, Bill, got your bike. Take what you gotta take. Drink what you gotta drink, fuck what you gotta fuck. I don't care. Kill who you gotta kill. But get it out of your system. Hmm. And when you do, give me a call and we'll get back to business. You're not my PO, brother. Remember who the head of this chapter is. I do, man. Trust me. Tell me, you still have Ashley's phone number? 
Why don't you give her a call for me? Tell her I'm inside getting all sorts of fucked up. And that I would really like some... I mean, we... Meaning all of us... Would love some whole... Ass wipe. Anyways, this is the Lost Clubhouse. Oh, here we go with copyrighted music. I'm sure the audio is going to sound wonky here. If not, then that's a miracle. But if the audio sounds wonky, it's because I had to, you know, mute the song. Or something. You can arm wrestle with your brothers. That's... That's just wonderful. Did you get a man? I escaped the first degree burn. Try your luck in a high low card game. I don't know what that means. And pay respect pay your respects to fallen comrades. Sleeping on the bed will save the game in advance time by six hours. Well, so this is like the tutorial section in base GTA 4 as well. Watch the latest shows on TV. Wow. You can use the Lost Clubhouse computer to access the internet. Oh, they have a computer. This is Johnny's Hexa. It's the only one of its kind in Liberty City. A modern classic chopper. Well, the 2032 CC twin cam in oh well I, I don't know what any of that means and it skipped too fast but Johnny will need the bikes to ride in convoy you can save any vehicle in the parking place outside your safe house so you don't actually need to save his bike it just reappears with you if you lose your ride a phone call to clay will get you an alternative bike Terry will deliver guns to your location. So he's the little Jacob of all this. Apparently Jim can also leave you weapons, but he can leave you the unique weapons. Whereas Terry can just give you uh, normal weapons, I guess. Yes, absolutely. Look, I have... Look, they, they have RPG mechanics, gang mechanics, just like in San Andreas. Hey, look, it's three people's bikes. Can I, can I actually save them like that? Like, can I actually save bikes? If they die on a job, they will be replaced by a new lost gang member. Well, all the characters you saw there are important members of the gang, so they're not going to be... Oh, yeah. You can... Oh! Okay, so Jim leaves you one in the clubhouse arm wrestling room. Clay can bring you a bike or Terry for cheap weapons and ammo. Good, so you don't even have to really worry about gun stores very much. Uh. Yeah, I saw him coming out of secret valley. Where are you gonna have to Hey, Jim, what's up? Same old bullshit, Johnny. Can you come and meet me on Aspidin over an actor? All right, brother. I'll be there. Yeah, I'll wait for another episode because we're gonna do whatever Billy. Is fucking thinking about this Screw you. stupid. Let's see what if we can call Angus. Johnny, my brother. Hey, Angus. You seen much of Billy yet? I seen him. Yeah, not much though. Well, dude, what do you think? Is he on top of his shit, or is he gonna run this club into a hole? Hey, please, He's let gonna me run himself into some hole. I know that. Shit, Billy doesn't really talk to me. I mean, he'd hardly make eye contact since I got hurt. That's because you're way down in your chair, Angus, and it's hard to see you. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. That'd be a damn sight funny if I didn't think it was true, John. Billy doesn't see anything hey, that he don't want to. He'll see anything within smoking, fucking, and drinking proximity, but he won't see the two-ton truck bearing down on him. I get you, man. Later on. So there's actually some cool bikes, and there's more that Clay can't even bring to you, but... Let's end this episode off with a little bit of a banger, because... Oh, let's see. No. Oh, that's copyrighted. So let's end this episode off with a classic, and let's let you see, uh... We're gonna let you see something. Okay, let's call, uh...
play to just hang out or something. This is Clay's phone. Leave your details. That's nonsense. Uh, it is good you call. Terry. If I call one of them, will he get the other brothers? How's it going, Terry? I need some mindless entertainment of a non-sexual kind. You want to go see a show? Okay, but I'm not holding your hand. Pick me up in the next couple of hours. Okay, wait for me. I'll be there soon. Great. Cool, and we get a thumbs up from Terry. And uh, depending on who you call, you can get a thumbs up from anybody. Uh, well, this is a bit of a far distance, but perhaps I will drive all the way there. Otherwise, I, I might cut this out. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I hope I said everything of note that I wanted to say about this game. So, this and the other DLC are actually the original ones that I played back in the day. I started with this. And then I played the other one, and I never really went back. Uh, it's pretty fun. Although, just so you know, the DLCs are way shorter than, uh, than base GTA 4. And there's a lot of fixes, too. Such as, like, certain things you can skip now more. I think there's improved handling of the bikes and whatnot. They added some cars. Can't remember some of the other things they fixed from uh, original GTA 4. But there's some new weapons and this this basically just fixes a lot of the flaws that the original had. However, now that I've actually played the original, I do find it considerably more charming than these two DLCs, which, you know, you'd think I'd be biased towards, uh, towards the two and not the original game, but after playing the original game, I just find it absolutely wonderful. I wish I could think of what glitches the original had, though, that I, I can't remember what it fixes. Oh, that's right. The, the important part. If you die, this game actually knows what checkpoints are. So now in the DLC, you don't have to restart the mission all over again. You can actually start from the nearest checkpoints or wherever you left off, which there's actually pretty, pretty all right checkpoints in this game. Oh, we're, hey, we're on Montic Avenue. There you go. But, yeah, Montauk Avenue, freaking, so yeah, as you could tell, that was back when, uh, Faustin was pissed. Faustin, so that was Jason, the guy that was voiced by, uh, what's-his-face, uh, the comedian, Bill Burr, which... I mean, they should have had, they should have had Bill Burr, they also had Patrice O'Neill in the first game, in the original GTA 4. Oh, they want comedians, huh? Oh, you're gonna get one. We're going to the Ultimate Comedy Club, Split Sides, and we're going to see the funniest comedy ever. I mean, this may as well be Comedy Central. But, yeah, basically, as you can see, the game also seems to just be smoother. And I don't know if that's thanks to the mod I downloaded or what, but... This does seem like it. I, I think I remember before I got the mod, this is just generally smoother. But, anyways, as I was saying, Patrice O'Neill, 
it, it'd be nice if they had him and uh, Bill Burr do some stand-up as well. I'm not particularly interested in any of those people as comedians. I mean, I don't have anything against them or for them, but it, it'd be nice if they had more variation. Since, I mean, it's just weird because they they had the uh, they hired those guys and they did voices in the game, but they didn't get them to actually do anything. You know, but yeah. Um, last note, just I'll make this quick, but yeah, as you heard. This, that Jason guy, Bill Burr, as I was saying, uh, is the guy that you killed in early GTA 4 when Faustin told you, hey, he's getting, he's getting with my daughter, go kill him. This better not be any of that queer arty So, yeah. Anyways. All the way from Glasgow, Frankie Boyle. Get ready for him. Get ready, you're gonna... I just listen to this. Hey, is this your woman, pal? Yeah. She looks like she could rip you apart like a fucking chicken wing. <laughs> does he touch the sides? He sure does. When he does, do you vibrate and your nose lights up? Oh, my God. Read a great thing recently. It said that scientists are going to start treating alcoholism with LSD. That's going to make tramps very different people. <laughs> Any spare change, pal? I've got a unicorn to feed. Apparently scientists have come up with a condom for premature ejaculation. And basically it's got an anesthetic in the lining and it makes you numb. You can last for longer. Or you can wear it inside out and you don't have to wake anybody up. <laughs> Mollus is overrated, isn't it? Mollus actually takes half an hour to have any effect. I often find that in that time, the woman has managed to wriggle free. You ever heard that science thing that the human female has exactly the same pheromone scent as an orangutan female? It's news to me. I'll never wear a blindfold again. They told me she was European. You ever heard that science thing? If you put a frog into boiling water, it'll jump out. But if you put it into cold water, and you heat the water up, the frog won't realize and it'll die. Or to put it another way, Scientists have got a lot of fucking time in their hands. Shall we have a go at curing cancer? No. I'm gonna see how many fruit pastels it takes to choke a kestrel. <laughs> Do you know what I hate? Charity. Charity doesn't work, right? Because we want it to work, won't make it fucking work. You might want to send money to people in Africa. That money takes no account of cultural difference, takes no account of the reality the of those people's lives. If you give a man a fish, what are they he'll doing? For a day. If you give him a fishing rod, he'll break it up for firewood. <laughs> or maybe swap it for a fish. <laughs> I hate that fat fuck, John Hunter. They're talking about a guy who's so fat, he can't wear a belt and a tie on the same day, or he'll turn into sausages. <laughs> I hate property programs. I saw one the other day, right? It said, if someone's coming around to view the house, remember to open your curtains and tidy up. Oh, thanks for that. I'd been planning on redecorating using diarrhea pills and stencils, then shaving the word welcome into my fucking dog's back. That's a joke. I don't have a dog, obviously. Having pets is fucking tragic. Having a pet is basically saying, I have tried to find love among my own species, and I have failed. I've had to fall back on the less judgmental animal kingdom. Is there anything sadder than seeing someone with a dog picking up dog shit? I suppose maybe someone without a dog. <laughs> vet, that's a job I'd like to have. I don't know how long I could be a vet before I got bored and started fucking stuff. I'd fuck an owl. Because it could give you eye contact, whatever position you took it in. Oh, gosh. I'd fuck a kitten. Hell of a Imagine boss. Imagine having sex with something you actually wanted to cuddle afterwards. Hey, have a great weekend. I've never seen them do that glitch where they're just constantly doing those animations. <laughs> we should have heckled them more, bro. Yeah, we really should have. I, I guess the whole crowd was doing that. That was, uh, that was something. Listen, man, I'm out of here. See you later. Uh, so before I end the episode... 
Okay, you get thumbs up from all of them, and yeah, those are the only people you get to hang out with in this game, so it's not like in GTA 4 where it's difficult and you have to try to maintain every friendship with everyone. Oh, well, it was supposed to give me respect from everyone, but I don't know if the mod does something to that that I have to make this game better or what. It's sad that I have to install a mod because Rockstar won't freaking fix this and do the job, but... There's so much they need to fix in this, man. Ah. Uh, what was I gonna say before the end? Um. But. So. I was talking about that with a friend. And my friend. The uh, Frankie Boyle's comedy. And. Someone in the comments on a video of his apparently said, or a video of Frankie Boyle's stand-up apparently said that some people don't like it because you have to think about it. Now, I, what? I, I don't think, I, I, well, I don't think that's how that works, pal. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, listen, to each their own, that's all I'll say, but that's been an eventful first episode. And uh, so we're just going to keep marching through this series. And yeah, the other DLCs are going to tie in. Or this deal, the other DLCs, this DLC and the other DLC are going to tie into the base game and Nico's story a lot. So keep your eyes out, keep your eyes peeled, and just be ready because you're going to see a lot of stuff. There's going to be a lot of explanation, I guess, and there's, you know, there's a lot of things that are going to be put in perspective a bit more. Before I end the episode, let's check our emails real fast. And then and I'm going to go save it. Shut up, pal. Okay, Ashley. So, again, I'm not really going to read that. BG out. Yeah, you can pause and read that stuff, but I'm not going to sit here. Urgent, your bank account. Yeah, you can kill debt dead. That's wonderful. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Oh, let's get some. Uh, let's get some money. So you don't get nearly as much money, but it oh, seems like you make money perfect. much faster because this one isn't a commentary on you know coming to America and being in financial turmoil. But anyways, cops are here, so I'm gonna end this episode, and uh, I'm out, man. Shut up, Tom. Oh, that's that's Billy's bike. Uh, that's I'm gonna let Billy deal with that. So, so thank you for watching, everybody. Take care, and I will see you in the next episode.